Hi, this is Hetty again, coming to you from Nanny's Italian Kitchen. Today what I'm going to be making for you is stuffed mushrooms. I had a couple of requests. And stuffed mushrooms is something that we make mostly on the holidays. You can make them every day if you like, but uh, it's usually a holiday treat. My mother used to make them, and pretty this is pretty much her recipe, but I just added a couple of other things. So first I'm going to show you how to clean the mushrooms. I have here 12 medium-sized mushrooms. You can get bigger ones if you like and double this recipe. Uh, you can't pretty much get any smaller ones, although sometimes if you have small ones, you don't have big ones, you cut up the mushrooms, you put them in a dish, and then you throw the stuffing on top. My mother used to make it. She used to put everything in a bowl and just mix it together. But I find I get more flavor uh, by sauteing the garlic and stuff. But first I'm going to show you how to clean the mushrooms. Some people say do not wash mushrooms. Don't put them under the water. So what I have learned to do is brush them off with a clean paper towel and put them in your pan. And then I'm going to show you how to stuff them. So just make sure you get any dirt or anything off of them. You take the stems out. Now some people chop up the stems and put it in the stuffing. I like to have more of the stuffing and not the stems. So I make sure I clean it well. So the pan has been heating up. I'm going to add some olive oil. Just enough to get the garlic and the parsley and everything else sauteing. I would say, I don't know, a quarter of a cup. That looks like a quarter of a cup. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Okay, so the pan should be hot enough. What I'm gonna put in, I've chopped up three large cloves of garlic. A good hand, a couple of full tablespoons of parsley. I find that the um, the mixture, the stuffing, is more flavorful when you saute the garlic, and so a lot of the flavor comes out of it. Then you add the breadcrumbs. I have three quarters of a cup here. And I have three quarters of a cup of Pecorino Romano. Okay, you can turn the gas off. You don't want everything to burn. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and mix it around until you get it really well incorporated. We're back. Wow, so I've made sure that I thoroughly mixed the breadcrumb mix. And on the bottom of the pan, I put some more olive oil so they don't stick. And now I'm gonna stuff them. You can probably fit in, oh, I don't know, like a little bit more than a tablespoon, but I like to mound them up a little bit. And this is the same kind of uh, stuffing that I use for the baked clams. The only thing is I would put in uh, little clam juice. So you put these in, stuff them up and put them in. Uh, my son, when I used to make the baked clams, I used to leave a couple of shells out because he didn't like the clams or seafood. And he would eat his baked clams less the clams. He would have the stuffing in a clam shell. And so that's how I I always had to make like five or six extra without the clams. All right, I'll come back when I got them all stuffed. Okay, so this is what the mushrooms look like after you've stuffed them. Once again, I'm just gonna pour a little bit olive oil Remember, do you have any in-laws or old-timers who used to say Earl and vinegar? We used to laugh like crazy when we hear them say Earl. 
Anyway, this goes into an oven, a 350 oven, for about 25 minutes. And when they come out, I'll, you should wait until you get the tops a little bit brown. Because they, then they're just scrumptious. So I'm going to put these in the preheated oven, 350 for 25 minutes. Okay, so it's been 25 minutes. And look at these mushrooms. Aren't they delicious? Nice and crispy on the top. In fact, I'm gonna have one right now. I wish this was smell of smell a video. So here's the delicious end product. This is a little bit hot, but I can't wait to try it. <laughs> They're hot and delicious. So, here, Thanksgiving's coming up. This is a great side dish. Or any Sunday, we used to have them on Sunday too. Well, years ago on Sunday, there was 50 people on Sundays at 3 o'clock. Aunts, uncles, cousins, grandma, grandpa, in this little five-room flat in East Harlem. We'd have them whenever we felt like. I had five ants all cooking, all in the kitchen. My mother sitting down like the boss while they were cooking. <laughs> she was a piece of work. Well, here, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. I got another video coming up. Hope you're going to like. Bon appetit.